Nina Silic and this is my girl Summer Bernard and we're here from Muscle Works for her. We are at the IFBB WA State Championships. Now Summer's been here since this morning, since the pre-judging. Yes, so what did you watch today? Well I had a few of my girls competing behind stage so I was helping them so I got to watch um, the bikini sections. Uh, just the small, um, sorry short, not small, short, um, medium and tall classes. I didn't get to see the novice though so yeah I just got to see those girls today. Well I'm a bikini girl so that's what it's all about for me. So yeah. who was the standout for you today? Oh okay, I'd say standout probably in the short class I would go with um, Ebony and, and Jade Mead, like I'd say that those two there are definitely running for first and second. Um, in the medium class, I mean that's got a really big lineup. You've got Alice Round, uh, you've got Trista, um, who else was there? Tracy was there, and also Emma Rossi. Um, I would muscle say for her career. Yeah, we love these are muscle girls. <laughs> so I think that you've probably got Tracy's definitely up there as well. I think Trista looked the best that I've ever seen her look on stage, and she's been competing for a while now. So I think that now she's got everything down pat, like to her bikini color, her hair. She looked. She was a very big standout for me. Now she um, improved. She's come a long way, that girl, from oh. last season. I've seen her changes and she looks amazing. She's done really well. So it's going to be really hard in that lineup. But I think that definitely Trista, Tracy, and um, Sally will be up there as well. I mean, Sally's done incredibly. She's just been over to Ukraine and yeah. everything. So she's definitely out there. And same with Alice as well. So it's going to be really hard with those. Um, but, tall class. Yeah, tall class. So you've got standouts for me, definitely, and that is Natasha and, and Zia. So it's going to be really hard to pick between those two because they've both got amazing physique. Um, I would say that um, Natasha has some things on Zia and Zia has some things on Natasha. It's really hard to pick, but um, I'll be interested to see how it works. And, of course I'm going to be, yeah, it's, it's hard, it's hard to know, but you always want your girls to win, but you've got to try to look at it, you got to look at it, not biased, so, <laughs> so yeah, but it'd be good, good show, it'd be interesting. Awesome. Thanks so much, and we'll no see problem. how the girls go tonight. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Adam, you just placed second in teens, why don't you tell us what were some of your strengths and weaknesses against your competition? Uh, okay, well, just a generally known, I've got a good back and good legs, just known for real sharp legs. Uh, just the problem is bringing the conditioning from the front at the moment and we'll work on that throughout this year. Right on. What were some of the things that you struggled with in your prep? Uh, I didn't really struggle with too much. A lot of things were quite smooth. My uh, coach Shane Smith really knows his stuff yeah. sort of thing. So nice. it's just real smooth. Yeah. Did you have any funny moments where you kind of forgot something or uh, wore some clothes I, inside out? or? Um, there was a couple of times where I forgot my pre-workout meal. Yeah. I, I just don't know how I do it. Sometimes I like I was rearranging my bag and I took it out to put it on top and I just never put it back in. <laughs> just... right on. We look good up there, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, here we are with MuscleWorks TV and I'm here with one of our MuscleWorks managers, Kurt DeCosta. Now this guy is a junior and you're sitting at what 101.3 kilos on stage length. That is crazy, you're only 23. Yes. Insane. Tell me how you went with this prep because I know it's been a big journey for you. Yeah, big journey. You know, like, I like the challenge of it. You know. Very, very different to my other prep, which was really exciting. It kept me going, kept me guessing throughout the whole preparation. Um, huge changes. Last time I pretty much killed myself doing my preparation. This time I knew what I was doing. You were into. doing how much cardio in your last prep? My last prep was doing up to three hours, steady state. That um, with one child, you know, now I've got two kids, so... Your new baby different... girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's <laughs> over there. <laughs> so, yeah, this time, different, just a different outlook, different coach. Um, made the biggest difference, the biggest difference, different outlook. Um, just looking after my metabolism a lot more, got me leaner, you know, and allowed me to keep more, 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 more size. So, it's a big learning curve over here. Now, how, what was your weight on stage last year? Last year, I weighed in 83 flat. 83.1. And this year, uh -huh. That is a huge, I didn't shake your hand, that is a huge achievement. Yeah, lots of hard work, lots of, lots of, yeah, very mental training. I had to really, really evaluate my training, look at things in a whole new perspective. Uh, also being 6 foot 1, you know, makes a big difference in my training style. Okay, um, I, was, I had a lot of injuries, you know, which I had to overcome. Um, and also because I want to be in this long term, then I had to really think about the way I went. And my coach, Shane Smith, well, the Shane. man, the man, <laughs> the freak on stage, you're all going to see him, he's absolutely just an animal. He's looking Best good, guy, isn't nicest he? Nicest guy looking in the good. whole entire world. Look after me. Top shame. 
Yeah, he's going to love it. <laughs> yeah, he's made the biggest difference. Such a friendly guy to come to. You know, gave me everything I needed. Um, just changing, changing athletes. All of us, all the whole team is just changing us. And, you know, educating us all differently. It's very, very, very. There's a good crew that trains for you. Muscle works crew. Muscle works crew. Now, if you had any advice for someone starting out, what would that be? Someone starting out, I'd say definitely follow your heart and do it, do it to your best, the best you can. Because you see a lot of guys doing a preparation, you know, they're not fully into it. And it shows on stage. I'm not saying don't go on stage, just, you know, learn a lot. Take everything from that experience and better it for your next chance to get up on stage. That's what it's all about. Because it doesn't matter, like, like I said, I'm the, I'm the heaviest guy on stage. You know, I didn't place, but it's the personal improvements you make. You know exactly. what I mean? Especially, no one knows what you do to behind closed doors. You know, it's what you bring to the stage that everyone sees. So you just got to make sure that you're doing that 100% exactly. back, back behind the scenes. Yeah. And bring your best back. Well, some awesome words from Kurt DeCosta, our 101 kilo junior. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, come see Muscle, got muscle Works out across. The best training advice, supplements. Love it. Thanks, guys. Muscle Works TV coming back at you. I'm here with Nick. Congratulations on your show. Cheers, man. How many shows have you done? Uh, just the one. Just the one. The first show? First show, yeah. What was some of your biggest struggles getting ready for this show? Uh, biggest, biggest struggles are probably uh, it's, uh, definitely diet. Woke up, I started prep uh, probably six weeks out. So uh, a lot of cardio, uh, pretty strict on dieting. Um, so there wasn't allowed to be a lot of slip ups. Um, that was probably the main thing. Was, was, was the whole contest prep a lot different than you thought it would be? Was it um, be? A lot, uh, yeah, a bit different. Um, so like, just like, what the difference one meal makes is like, such an amazing thing like, to the body. Like, if you have a cheat meal when you weren't supposed to, you look shit for three days. <laughs> yeah. Did you have any experiences with diet brain? Any embarrassing moments? Oh, I, I had ice cream. And that got me bloated for like a few days. That was probably the worst time, yeah. <laughs> what do you think are some of your strong points coming into the show? Um, uh, strong points, probably like, um, maybe like muscle, muscle bellies. Probably could get a bit leaner. But, um, like chest, probably chest or something like that, yeah. Be a strong point to bring out. But just try and work on those weaknesses off season. What's the biggest lesson you learned from your first show? Um, stage presence and um, preparation is key. So you're not running around like backstage when you pump up. And I feel a lot more comfortable on stage. Yeah. If you had any friends or anyone you know going into their first show, what would be some advice you would give them? Um, definitely prepare. Um, and um, yeah, preparation, stick by your coach. Just uh, probably two main things. Yeah, Right on, thanks again. Cheers, man. Cheers. Welcome to Sportsbike TV. I'm Nina Silich and I'm here with my girl Alice Brown. Hello. Welcome, Alice. So, Alice, we are at the IPB state titles today, but you were just recently in the Ukraine. Tell us what you were there for. Um, I went to the World Championships, so that was the all female cup for the IPB, and it was an amateur show, but like people have the opportunity to get their pro cards, so awesome experience some of the, like, the best condition athletes I've seen in the world and we had about 60 girls just in our heart class so yeah it was really that's cool. a lot yeah it's a lot <laughs> yeah it was very overwhelming but it was a great experience and yeah I loved it so so you've been dieting overseas and you've maintained it to come home and how long ago was well um I had four weeks between shows so I actually had a bit of a break between um the UK I went to the UK after well had a few days off in London and still ate pretty clean, but I had, you know, enjoyed the food. There was a lot of healthy food over there, which was awesome. Um, had a few days off and then straight back into it. So yeah, that takes yeah. a lot of discipline. Yes. A lot of discipline. <laughs> so what have you done um, to keep yourself going between the Ukraine and the show today? Um, well, I wanted to come in a little bit tighter than what I did over there. I mean, I was happy with my shape, but I just wanted to pull it on a little bit more. So um, I just basically diet was pretty much the same. Um, we just kept it rolling. I just needed a few more weeks and I've come in in a condition that I'm really happy with so yeah well you're looking amazing one of the best yeah. I've ever seen you with your little waist looking unreal <laughs> <laughs> your little waist unreal now um, there's a lot of food around today I can see
So you're eyeing a few things up. So what are you wanting to eat when you get off stage? Well, hopefully if everything goes well today, we're going to have Sydney Nationals next week, which is next Saturday. So it's only really six days. So I'm not going to go silly. Um, I want to have a big high carb meal, fill my body up. So I want to get a grill, get a burger, and get some frozen yogurt, and then I'll be happy. So All the post comp kids yeah. love grills. All the all go there. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Um, yeah. Well, we wish you all the best today. Counting them up. Counting them up. Okay, look at Great <laughs> fun. Awesome. So, I mean, what have you seen today? Um, so, seen a lot of strong physiques coming through. A lot of young crew against some really great shape and development. Uh, young kids are dominating, aren't they? They're kids are starting young. Well. Very strong teenagers, very strong juniors. Even the novice bikini girls are doing very well. Yeah. It's getting tougher and tougher, isn't it? It is. It's making us dinosaurs a little bit harder to, to compete. <laughs> I know, right? We have I to know. work harder, yeah, right? <laughs> so, who is the standout for you today? Uh, standout for me today would be three your men, Wesley Ayers. Um, I think he's going to be very good And I think he'll do very well in the future. When he goes into the industry, gives the numbers next time, I think he'll do very well. So, what do you hear the difference to the other guys? What was, what was his standout for you? I think overall symmetry. Um, he came in a little bit leaner than the other guys, but I think a strong stage presence is really important. Smiling um, and just having that strong stage presence really helps. Awesome. Who do you think is going to do well in the, old, in the older men? In the, the older crew. Older crew. Uh, people to watch would be Peter Roy. Um, they're probably the only ones I can think of right now. Shane Smith. Seen that boy? A monster. Now I know you boys really come to watch the bikini girls. Seriously, admit it. You're awesome. Oh, I've got some girls. So yes, yes I am. Who are you coaching today? Yeah, Chris Sydney Miller and Caitlin Ramey. Excellent. So how do you think they'll go? Um, yeah, we've got a few call-outs this morning. She got called up in that seven or eight times. So I think she'll do very well. I think she'll at least place, hopefully. Um, but hey, look, they all made it to the stage, so they've all already won in my eyes. Exactly right. And so it's a tough lineup, isn't it? Very tough lineup. Well, thanks for your time, Richard, and we'll Any see time. how everyone goes today. Yeah, and tan hands. Yeah, tan hands. <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to MuscleWorks TV. We are at the IFBB State Championships, and I'm here with my dear friend, Miss Tracy Charles. How are you going Good. today, Tracy? Good. Now, what division are you competing in today? I'm in Bikini Open. Uh, mid mid class. Mid, <laughs> sorry. Just so you guys know, Bikini Open means you've competed before, it's not your first time. So, it, medium class, that's a pretty tough lineup, yeah, right? Very tough lineup. Very tough lineup. I got out there, I had fun, but I'm, I do not know where I place. It's just, yeah. Who knows? It's Who the knows? best lineup I've seen in a long time. Well, You've brought a pretty good package to the stage yourself, I so I so. you look, look fantastic out there. Thank now you've been a pretty special journey, yes. so tell everyone what you've overcome to get here. So um, I had a baby 20 months ago, a little Ruby, um, so I competed prior to that and um, yeah, so I've actually lost 25 kilos, uh, oh, wow. yeah, so a lot of weight. Um, but my inspiration was Nina when she won her pro card at FedEx, that was the reason why Oh, I decided to compete again, so that's been six months of this, a six months journey for me to get here. You've done it slowly and yes. you've made some huge changes. Huge changes. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. The last time we competed together, it was my very first show. Yes. In FedEx when 2011. 2011. Yeah. Yes. So, come a long way yeah. since then. Come a long way since then. Had a baby, you know, a lot older. <laughs> so, no, looking amazing. So, I've seen the change you made and you're looking unbelievable. Give me a little glimpse of those abs. Um, they absolutely amazing. There's a baby in there. <laughs> There's a baby in there somewhere. Well, I hope you absolutely kill it. You look unbelievable. I am so proud of you. I'm a little bit biased. I'm so proud of this one. So we'll see how you go later, okay? Hi guys, welcome to MuscleWorks TV. I am here with the lovely Emma Rossi and Talisha Kranich and we are at the IFBB WA State Championships. Now ladies, tell everyone what division you're competing in today. I'm competing in Bikini Tall Class Open. Nice. And 
arm in bikini medium class open. Nice. That's my division. That's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> that yeah. one. They're all hard. I've seen the girls backstage. Everyone looks incredible and both of you look amazing. Thank you. Uh, how did you go at pre-judging today? How did you feel? Um, I've been a bit nervous because there's so many, there's like not many of us to judge. There's only six of us in medium, so it's really nerve-wracking. Yeah. yeah. So I've tried my best. Calm your nerves it. down yeah. now, ready yeah. for tonight. Yep, ready to flaunt my individual. Nice, I love yeah. it. What about yourself? It was good. There were seven girls in our lineup and they had really long legs and they were good, but it was fun. We were on stage for a long time, so it was good. It's worth it. Now, what colour bikinis are we all rocking today? Green! Show us a sneaker peek. We got a green one. I can't show you a sneak peek, but I'm wearing blue. Alright. Dark blue. You took yours off for a bit of a break, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but so, I mean, it doesn't just take a training and nutrition, right? So you got to practice all your posing and stage presence. How long has that taken you ladies to do? Um, well, we get to pose together. So we right. pose every Friday night or Saturday for about an hour. Every week? Yeah, every week. We've done it for right. about 12, 13 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So you get your little practice. routines down packed, right? Perfect. Does that make you feel more comfortable on the day? Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. Knowing yeah. what you're going to do before you get up there. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, um, I know there's a lot of goodies and goodie bags hiding backstage. Yeah? So, what have you guys got stashed in your goodie bag? Sour worms. Sour worms. Sour worms. That's, the, Sour that's the lolly of choice, right? Yeah. I've got custom cupcakes. Custom cupcakes? What do they yeah. say? They're just, they're filled with chocolate, Oreo. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Yay! I'm here with Nick. He just won his division. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Cheers. How many shows have you done? I've done uh, two shows. I did one two years ago, juniors. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm 24, so I did the, uh, the novice one, and uh, yeah, well, I'm really excited. What was different between last year's prep and this year's prep? Um, really different last time was, you know, just in 12 weeks. You know, trying to, it was a bit too rushed, there wasn't enough time to bring the conditioning in. This time, you know, it was 27 weeks, six, six months prep to really bring it down. It was really fine tuned to my specific needs and uh, that really worked. And thanks to my, uh, my trainer, Paul Smith, uh, without him and his guidance and uh, my support, my girlfriend, my family, friends, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here today. So, massive thanks to the support network. Yeah. Any embarrassing moments or funny things that you ended up doing during prep? Did you forget anything? Uh, or? Heaps and heaps of stuff. I mean, as far as the tanning up, you know, there's a guy tanning you up right near your finger. That's yeah. pretty. Yeah, pretty good about that. <laughs> standing but, there in the yeah, sock. Standing there in the sock. That's it. The sock. The spray tan. You know, getting the wax in the in the, the parts that are not very nice. It's all part of it. You know what I mean? So, what do you What do you feel is your strongest body part? Um, maybe my back. I put maybe my back. Um, but overall, I just tend to bring up uh, my lower half. I've always struggled with my legs, so I've got to bring yeah. my legs up and just overall, you know, I've got a decent shape, but I'm just going to bring more mass to it. Yeah. Give us a shot of those shredded glutes you got on the side there. Just ripped. Look at the glutes. So that was uh, a lot of cardio, a lot of dieting, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but. It was worth it at the end, so. What's the first thing you're going to go home and eat? What have you been craving the longest? Um, I love peanut butter, so I, I've been told by my coach, it's not healthy to have a big kick out, which it yeah. isn't. So maybe we're going to get home. I had a photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm going to go home and probably have a big salad, just get some foods in me. Yeah. Uh, and probably won't have a big pig out the next weekend. Hold off, maybe during the week, get some sushi or something, but I'm going to take it easy. What's next for you in competing? See what happens at the overalls. Uh, if I do well there, maybe nationals in Sydney coming on the weekend. Um, and uh, after, the, after this show or the weekend, definitely a couple of years off to put on a lot more muscle. So. What's the biggest lesson that you feel that you've learned from doing this show? Um, body body in general, the discipline, you know what I mean? The uh, discipline and the sacrifice. Uh, it makes you appreciate stuff a lot more and you know it's just, it's just doing things that you know only 95% of people you know will never do it's, it's, it's quite a, uh, a sense of achievement when, yeah. when you get up there you know so what's your favorite supplement what do you think really helped you in your contest uh, BCAA is 100% yeah. branch chain amino acids and glutamine um, yeah that, those two are the things. preserving muscle a lot of people lose muscle when they die I, I managed to put on almost um, almost a kilo so, nice yeah 
Awesome. What we're looking forward to see on stage. Congratulations. I'm here with Mitch from MuscleWorks. What do you think of the show so far? Really good, man. The venue, the venue's a lot better than it was in the last couple of years in terms of um, the amount of crowd support that we're having around WA bodybuilding and stuff. It's a lot better than it has been lately. Um, this venue's amazing, mate. Have you seen the crowd's loving it? Um, all the competitors backstage have all got good things to say. So, awesome, man. It's a really, really great show so far. Awesome, right on. You know a lot of competitors? Um, yeah, mate. Well, obviously, my coach Shane, who's um, Prepping looks awesome. He's probably hopefully going to take the overall tonight. Um, a few of the boys that he trains that I train with sometimes as well just competed just recently. Um, just probably about 15 minutes ago just finished. So yeah, just here supporting all the boys, mate. That's what it's all about, coming to support your friends. Right on. Being a, being a previous competitor, what do you think is the hardest thing about prep? Uh, probably wouldn't be the hardest thing, but the diet obviously is challenging for people that haven't done it before or haven't followed a strict reg re regime for, for a long time, but I think just being so different to what people are accustomed to is quite difficult for people to adapt and, and respect you for what you're doing. Um, some people find it hard to acknowledge that what you're doing is what you want to love, that you love to what to do. Um, so that's probably hard. Obviously the training's hard, but you just got to have that mindset that you've got to do it and, and it's all worth it once you get up on this stage, mate. It's just a, an amazing feeling, so. Being at the show and being a previous competitor, are you getting antsy to compete again? Man, the bug, that itch? Oh, I was in a bit of a, in a bit of a lull like the last couple of weeks, but tonight, man, I'm, I'm itching to get back on that stage now, so. When you, what are you planning for for your next show? Um, hopefully, depending on what happens with uni and stuff like that, hopefully get back on stage mid-year mid next year, May. Around May, I think, is it the next uh, season of Kong, So hopefully, around May, I'll get back up there, mate. So, yeah. What's different about this prep compared to last preps? What are you focusing on? Um, I'll probably just be focusing on trying to stay in better condition in the off season. Uh, my, my, my coach Shane's really, really big on um, being a bodybuilder 24/7 and, and 12 months of the year, not for not for three months or four months at a time, mate. So I'm really, really trying to stay in um, decent condition and just a, a very long, steady prep that um, that should hopefully bring all the results that I'm after, mate. Hi guys, welcome to Muscle Week TV. I'm Nina Phillips and I'm here with the beautiful Miss Prada Milano. Now Prada was our Muscle Week for her 12 week sponsorship winner one year ago now, weren't you? Yes. How was that experience for you? Um, it was the most amazing experience. It not only set me up for my competition, but just a lifestyle change. You guys taught me things that I would never have figured out on my own. Um, things that I still use today. if not October, but I know I can always come back to you guys to ask for tips. 100%. And you've always been there. You guys are amazing. Thank you. You're amazing. Could not thank you enough. So what's the biggest lesson you think you've learned in your past year? Um, definitely don't push for something. Just listen to your body. Don't push it if it's telling you no. Um, don't go crazy after comp. Don't. <laughs>
Italy, overseas competing, right? Tell us where you were. I was in Ukraine and Kiev doing the Women's World Championships. Very cool. So how was that experience for you? Oh, fantastic. We had a really good time. The Australian team did really well. We came eighth overall, which is amazing for a team of only six of us. Wow. Um, and it was just a really good experience overall. Did you have many challenges over there? Yeah. I think we did really well. There's we no together. There's no place to compete like home, right? <laughs> Especially in a venue like this today. Unreal. So you won the medium class bikini in March, right? right? So how do you feel about how you went today in pre-judging and how do you think you'll go tonight? Oh well, you never know how you go, but I'm quite happy with the shape that I've got myself to today and like I've decided now that it's not really about my placing anymore, it's about how to the day and getting on stage so I've, I've enjoyed it and that's all that really matters to me That's now. exactly the right attitude to have and I think that's exactly what competing is all about, don't you agree? Definitely. Beautiful. Well, thank you for speaking with us and good luck. We hope you do really well tonight. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Beautiful. <laughs> thank you. That's perfect. Woohoo. Hi, welcome to MuscleWorks TV. I'm Nina Silik and I'm here with the beautiful Bridget. So, Bridget, you were in Ukraine recently with the Australian team, right? Yeah. So, how was that experience for you? Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, great to share that with um, the team from WA. And um, just a really good learning experience from a competitor's point of view. I had competed overseas before, so, wow. yeah, it's great. Crazy experience. Yeah, really good. Time. How did, I heard you did really well. How did you go? Yeah, good. Um, unexpected for place uh, six. 25 or so, so I made the finals. Fantastic, that's yeah. unreal. Yeah, I was thrilled, absolutely thrilled, yeah. I was in the same position as you uh, about a year ago and it's absolutely unreal. So yeah. congratulations, that's a huge achievement. Thank you. And congratulations, you just won your division tonight, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What division was that? So it was physique uh, open, open unreal. class, yeah. Um, so generally I used to do the high class, but they didn't have that tonight. They only had the, the open class, so that was me. Still took it out, so yeah. congratulations. You. What's next for you now? Uh, next, hope to do the nationals uh, next weekend. Um, and then uh, I'd really like to uh, enter into Fit X next year and get ready for that. So I have a have month or so off and then start getting organised for that. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So have you had any big challenges you've had to overcome for your prep this time? dream meal to have after comp? Oh, look, I'm just, um, I'm just so good. really love to have, um, you know, like, it sounds lame, but, you know, like a sandwich, like you know, bread, <laughs> bread. Cheese, <laughs> stuff like that. Something yeah. normal, right? Yeah, just crunch into something. Yeah, yeah. so that would be nice. Well, congratulations again. You look phenomenal, and we wish you all the best for Nationals next week. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks. physique this time around so what have you done different from last prep compared to this prep? Uh, just really tried to follow my plan like a hundred percent my nutrition, my training, my cardio, just everything really tight. Also just different training methods like hold on the glutes, shoulders, isolation, so just different things. I've seen you've grown a little bit of a booty. A little bit? Where does that come from? Give me your booty. <laughs> Ultimate beauty really inspiration. That is cool to hear. That is cool. I'm still working on that thing yeah. too. Don't worry. So I think, um, but I think it's everyone's goal, especially in this sport in bikini, to have that. So just um, also a big goal of mine is to like get around big, <laughs> so big round butt. Watch this space. So what do we all do to get a big round butt? 
how do you train that? Uh, what, what are your booty secrets? Um, a lot of cable kickbacks. Right. Um, just like weird stuff. Like <laughs> it's always the weird exercises to get the get the results. So. so where's the stuff everyone doesn't want to do yeah. that gets you the results? Yeah, people right. Stare at you. <laughs> That's true. True. You don't have to give you all your secrets away, it's okay. So what are your plans in your break? What are you going to be doing? Um, in my break, I'm going to just see how I go. My ultimate goal is to move to figure. Right, so, wow, awesome. Um, I've always wanted to do it, so yeah. we'll just see how my transition to the figure stage goes. Otherwise, just always to improve uh, my bikini physique. Right. So it's a break, but it's a pretty oh, it's hard really working, working break. break. Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you for talking to us and we hope you do really well tonight as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! We're going to stand close because of the mic. I'm here. All right, I'm here. Muscle Works TV. I'm here with Johnny. Johnny's ex military. He's competing today in physique. How do you feel coming into the show? And I feel absolutely amazing. Not only that, uh, my body has changed to the different degrees of uh, dieting and uh, yeah, planning. been some of your struggles during the contest prep? Eating food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, not so much like just eating food, but like just uh, all in all eating, you know, snacking here and there, you know, eating, yeah. eating food, just foods that I shouldn't be. Yeah. What was your main focus in your prep towards building a better package? Um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a lot of mid-section work um, and uh, definitely a lot of upper chest work. Definitely to come with it. What do you feel are your strong points in the show? Strong points would definitely have to be uh, my midsection. Uh, yeah, like uh, I've, I've, I've trained specifically just on the uh, this year for you know, specifically working towards different um, exercises and different ways of you know, bringing my abs out a little bit more and definitely trying to fit out the waist as well. Okay. Yeah. What are some of the supplements that you've been using in your arsenal? I mean, um, basically when it all comes down to it, it's just uh, protein. Um, I use, uh, for myself, I use Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, when it comes down to supplements, I'll, I'll use uh, uh, just, uh, to enhance uh, fat burning, things like that, to the define eight range. Yeah. Um, but in the past, so just having all different types of subs, those are probably my only two subs that I actually use throughout the whole any embarrassing moments or things you might have forgotten during your diet prep? We've all had some of those. Oh yeah, they, we've all, like, whatever everybody's talking about, exactly that, we, we, everybody knows. So. What's the biggest thing you think you're going to take away from this competition? What's the biggest lesson you've learned? Uh, the biggest lesson I learned or biggest thing that I pull away from this is meeting um, you know, beautiful people in the sport you know, and definitely uh, people who compete in stuff. Big and, uh, yeah, and I definitely uh, just the people around uh, today has just made you know, made life, made, uh, made the time uh, for tonight's show uh, so much easier. So if, if anything, uh, we've come away from this is uh, you know, feeling happy, um, you know, winning a trophy or not winning a trophy, um, regardless, the people may make the night. Enjoy the process. Uh, yeah, it definitely, definitely takes up a lot from this. When do you plan on getting back on stage? Uh, believe it or not, maybe two hours, or maybe under an hour, but um, after this one, uh, you know, who knows, probably sometime again next year, but we'll see how we go. Good luck to you. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to MuscleWork TV. I'm Nia Silich, and I'm here with the beautiful Natasha McKenzie. She's one of our MuscleWorks for her girls. So, Tash, you're competing in the bikini today. Yeah, I'm competing in the um, open tall category. Beautiful. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm out again in about an hour. So. Yep. How have you gone in the wait from this morning? Long day? It's been a really long day. So, I got up at um, 6 in the morning. Wow. Yeah, and um, so in here for pre judging at about, I don't know, 1 o'clock or something. Right. Yeah, what time is it now? I'm coming up to 9. Well, that's 9, so it's long day. day. You're doing very well. Absolutely shattered. Just want to get back out there again for finals. Right, good stuff, good stuff. Now, you put on a lot of muscles since I've seen you last. What have you been doing in your off-season? You're looking fantastic. Um, so, in my off-season, I put on about um, 8 or 9 kilos. Um, obviously, a lot of it was fat, but I just dropped off all of my cardio. Yeah, getting a booty and um, just getting like bigger, bigger through the shoulders. So, yeah, 
amazing improvements, which I've noticed. Now, I have a few questions for you. I've noticed on your Facebook and your Instagram, I see chocolate bars and little cakes and lollies. Can you tell us how that works in your comp prep? Okay, so I follow a kind of diet that's called If It Fits Your Macro. Right. So you basically have um, an allocated amount of carbohydrates, fats and protein. And, you know, it's probably, you know, 90% good food. Um, but occasionally, if I'm feeling like I want a piece of chocolate or something, I'm not going to restrict myself from that. I will factor it into my plan. And I have, like, a set calorie target. So if every now and again I want to treat myself, then I'll do that. And I find that mentally it's just helped me a lot and it's made the whole process just much easier to deal with. So Excellent. Beautiful. Well, if whatever keeps you sane and going, right? That's right. <laughs> That's it. What have you done different in general compared to last prep and this prep? Because your physique has changed incredibly. Um, my cutting, I mean, apart from the double leg stays, my cutting wasn't really that different. Because I'd eaten so much on my off season, I was actually able to maintain the higher calories this time. Right. When I did cut, but it's just kind of, I just weigh myself week to week and, you know, take photos and just see how I'm going week to week and that kind of. your butt in off season. You're not just eating, right? You're uh, eating and training I'm like crazy. I like training five or six days right. a week. And I go, I, I like my heavy lifts. I like my heavy squats. I like my heavy deadlifts. And you know, pull-ups, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips. Um, Everything. I, I love smashing that kind of training. It's really fun. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I've seen um, a little bit of a goodie stash in your bag. Can you tell me what's waiting for you when you get off stage? I've got melting moment biscuits. Right. I've got um, cupcakes, which one of my friends made for me with black cream icing. I've got Mars bars, party mix, right. juice, and all sorts of things. So it's great. Awesome. Well, what's next for you after today? Um, so I'm heading over to Sydney on Thursday. Exciting. Yes, thank you to you guys for helping me. You're welcome. some of the struggles that you went through in this contest prep? Uh, 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 every, every day is a struggle, just I love eating food and you know you get deprived of eating the food and uh, no one's stopping you from going to do it so yeah every every day is a, is a battle but you just you got your eye on the prize at the end of the day and my biggest fear is getting up on stage and letting people down and just not looking my best so I would never want to get up on stage just not looking my best so that's what drives me to just stay away from it and just diet hard for the, the 18 weeks, 16 weeks so yeah that's about How it. How many shows have you done? I think I've done, this is my ninth show now yeah so. What is, the, what is the biggest thing that you think you've learned from this show? Uh, Self-discipline. Self-discipline. It's just incredible, it's like incredible what the mind can do and yeah, it's the major thing I've listened to, I learned and I put it into practice in my business, and my business has never been more successful. And it's just been yeah, so outside of bodybuilding, things are going really well, and um, yeah, it's just all attributed to basically bodybuilding and, and putting those things into practice in real life. What are some of the supplements that you think are uh, de detrimental? Uh, all year round, I'm using glutamine, creatine, protein, um, BCAAs. Um, so BCAAs and creatine and glutamine before training, during during training, afterwards. Using glutamine, creatine, and protein. Um, I'm always using a greens product to keep healthy. Um, so they're the, they're the staples I use all year round. And obviously, coming to contests the last last few weeks, throwing a fat burner there. I go down to see the boys at MuscleWorks, whatever, whatever they're recommending at the time, you know, whatever's the best on the market. They just throw throw my way, and I, I, I use that all the way all the way to the show just to get that little bit extra. Yeah. But um, yeah, that, that's it. What would you recommend as a seasoned competitor? What would be your advice to a new competitor? Um, oh, it's just, you got to just do what you love. If, if you're not doing, if you're doing the sport for something other than loving it, you, you're just going to fail. So I think that people should just, just love, do it because they love it, not for any other reason. 
what's next for you? I'm going to nationals next week. Um, I always, I, I've missed out on two two nationals, and I've always regretted not going. So I didn't want to live with any regrets. So I booked it, and uh, yeah, so I'm heading up there next weekend awesome. to take on the best in Australia, and hopefully I can do well. Um, yeah, just do my best. That's it. Congratulations, and good luck yeah. to you. We look forward to seeing you on stage. So much, yeah. WA state titles for 2013. It's been a very long but very awesome day. We'd like to congratulate all the competitors. Great job on behalf of Muscle Works. We look forward to seeing you on the next year's stage. So I'm Nina Silich. I'm Nick Horvath. And we're signing out on Muscle Works TV. Very